Two friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick sawing motion on the other side of the wall they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. It's in the morning and it's um, pretty <laughs> creepy. What the f was, what was, was that, that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. What the f man? But now they're freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Girl, yeah, whatever. At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. When searching for ghosts in a haunted house abandoned in the jungle, be prepared to skip a step. This video posted to YouTube by Pratik Paul in July of 2015 purports to show a real ghost girl in Matharan, India. The beautiful stone building in this clip is surrounded by foliage inside and out. The guide informs his audience about the house. According to him, it's one of the oldest houses in Matharan built during an era when the East India Company ruled in India. A general in the East India Company lived here with his family, including his wife and kin. Although the general was a generous man, during the time of the revolution, the house was lit on fire by rebel villagers. The colonel and his family could not escape. Within 30 minutes, the house was up in flames. Some say you can hear the sound of footsteps within the haunted house, and it's a general rule that no one should enter after after 5 p.m. The crew is here at 5.30, hoping to capture on camera the ghosts that are said to haunt the place. After feeling unsettled by something, the camera whirls around and cries out that something is there. You can't see anything in the thick surrounding foliage. Although the cameraman states he saw a shadow, the other guy notes that it's just a cat, man. But then again, he says something feels wrong. The cameraman zooms in on a window opposite, and a figure with black hair can be seen there. One of the men says they heard a sound. That's when they decide to book it out of there and fast. What I that? Sound, guys, I had a sound right now. Okay, let's, let's leave. leave. Let's, let's leave. leave. Well, some are quick to call fake on this one. YouTuber Science Classes is a little more relenting writing. If it's true, then I too want to see that spirit. Do you too? Count me in as well. A YouTube channel called Salamya 3 Alum is demonstrating a high flying hobby known as fire acrobatics when some creepy paranormal activity is caught on camera. Caught in the light of his flaming barrel is a mysterious hooded ghostly figure that hovers against the wall of an abandoned house for a few brief scary moments and then disappears. The video looks pretty real to most because the ghost appears to be the same resolution as everything else and its color does not sharply contrast with the video. This video, however creepy, has one thing that looks wrong. Notice how the video fades to black at 11 seconds. This part makes me wonder if this ghost sighting is actually real. Twin Paranormal had the scariest night of their lives in the Mark Twain Museum. Let's see what they captured. As they've set up a paranormal device in front of a mysterious mirror, they're confronted by the spirit. Don't be alarmed. It's not somebody stepping up the stairs. And then this happens. That was right at the f door. Are you touching me? A moment later, a shadow passes by. Keep an eye on the doorway. You freaking do? Yeah. Then a series of activity occurs. Oh, Jesus, dude. Dude, the vibe up here is whack. This spirit must have suffered, but what did it suffer? With just one of the few crew members upstairs, this happens. Uh, what? Stay where you're at. What's up? Yes, I did. Oh my 
Guys, I just said you wanted just me up here. They said yes I did. What does the spirit want with just one of them? The crew better stick together because it's trying to isolate them individually. For what aim? I'm not so sure, but I have a feeling this spirit is malignant. It's spring break and a YouTuber named Chili is kind enough to let her fans visit her at her home throughout the day. Everyone is polite and respectful except for one guest. They're having a normal conversation and he seems fine at first, but then he starts eyeing something off camera a few times. After a while, he just goes for it. Oh, oh God. Back. Wait, God, that's my, that's my purse! Tito the purse taker doesn't make it far and is quickly wrestled to the ground by one of Chili's friends named Tito. In addition to the purse, they also find a taken watch that he swiped off of the kitchen counter. Fortunately, he surrenders easily without much of a hassle. They are very forgiving and decide not to call the cops. Let me know if you would have done the same. All in all, I think everyone is lucky not to have gotten hurt. After this experience, I bet Chili is now more cautious about who she invites into her home. A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast-moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. Panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. There's a YouTuber named Anonymous Web who's developed a scary habit, the need to buy scary things off of the deep web. His channel has only been around for a few months, and already he's gotten himself into more trouble than he was expecting, but more on that in a second. First, let's go over some of his most recent buys. On March 7, 2020, a deep web package arrives after a three-week wait. Anonymous Web had already given up hope that he would ever get it and figured he had been ripped off. Seeing it in person fills him with unexplainable dread before he even opens it because he had ordered it from a website about witchcraft and demonology. Inside is a colorful doll with a dark message. Pins are stuck in its feet, face, and forehead. A yellow page appears to be instructions to do some sort of ritual. Here are the steps. First, he sprinkles some kind of black ash around the doll in a circle. Tell me if this looks like someone's cremated remains. Next, he puts the candles on both sides of the doll. The lighter that came in the box doesn't work, so he gets up to find another one. And at 17 minutes and 35 seconds, something happens. The doll appears to move ever so slightly. If this was someone's remains, then maybe he transferred their life into the doll. Anonymous Web doesn't think much of it until he gets another potentially possessed Dark Web doll on May 16, 2020. He buys the box from the same person, which doesn't make sense if he thinks the first one didn't work. But maybe he saw the part where it moved and bought one more. The doll has a male symbol on its forehead, to the right of which is a triangle, perhaps an all-seeing pyramid eye, with black spikes pushed through. Holes are drilled in the mouth to form a wicked smile. A burnt letter is soaked in something. It reads, In night I seek, in dark I breathe, and if you say its name twice, the curse is said to end your life. Its name is Ken Ken. You're only supposed to say it twice, but Anonymous Web says it three times just to be sure. I'm going to Ken, 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 Ken. A big mistake he later regrets. Ken. Ooh. It looks like he uses one of the candles to set the doll's dress aflame. You can hear him pick up a candle and slam it down really fast. But look again, there's no candle where his free hand is. 
He even puts paper down where the candle would theoretically have to be. There are only two candles within reach, these two, and he clearly doesn't touch either of them when the doll goes up in flames. The reason why I've shown you these two videos is to better explain the third. On June 2nd, 2020, exactly 13 days after releasing the curse of the previous doll, something began rummaging around his bedroom from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. It starts around his dresser. Then it moves to the far wall. After pulling on the doorknob with all its strength, it sounds exhausted afterwards and can't get free. After a long time, it returns to stomp across the room. And later that night, it gets out. So this would be terrifying if it was real, but I'm not sure if it's fake. I think he could have been standing behind the dresser and pushed the flowers over himself. Likewise, he could have reached around and opened the drawers himself. The footsteps and exhale would have been his own. He could have touched the bed himself off camera to make it squeak, but I don't know how he moved the picture. That's really strange. And then there's the very end when he comes back into the room and sees his room is messed up. Yeah, f you. Someone could have shut off the camera from the bottom, but at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, you can see the entire doorway immediately after it happens, and no one is there. Question, what's scarier than a theater at night? Answer, a haunted one. Published to TikTok, this appears to show the phantom caretaker of a haunted theater. Jay says the theater is supposed to be empty, but he keeps hearing a noise, so he's searching the theater to find its source. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Suddenly, he glimpses something in an upper theater box. He can't quite capture what it is, but after backing up a bit and zooming in, he manages to focus on this. It looks like the ghostly figure of a little boy dressed in a suit, although the image is blurry. The scary figure is distinctly there, leering out from a theater box. Phantom of the Opera? An intruder? Maybe he's just a ghost fanboy waiting patiently for the play to start. For those of you who haven't heard or don't remember, on August 13, 2018, a man named Chris Watts made national headlines after taking the lives of his two daughters, Bella and Celeste, and his wife Shanann, who was 15 weeks pregnant. Two police investigators and a special canine handler now searched the Watts residence on August 14th, one day after Shanann was reported missing. They are confident that their dog will be able to sniff out any DNA evidence that Chris Watts may have tried to scrub away. What they find instead is an abundance of paranormal evidence as recorded by their chest-mounted camera. Like this part where I hear the unmistakable laughter of a child as they pass through Bella's room at 12 minutes and 32 seconds. Listen for yourself, there's no denying it. Yes. I'm hoping that was a motion-activated doll or something, but I doubt it, especially given what else they hear in the next room over. A voice says something like, I have CC, which is short for Celeste, and they are standing in the room of Celeste too. Then again, I think it could be the K-9 handler saying something under her breath as she checks the closet, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. Things get weird once again as they enter the garage. Another voice, a woman this time. Oh, 
but it could be the officer whispering something to herself. Moments later, they passed by these containers in the garage. Containers Chris was believed to have used to transport the bodies from the house into his truck. The dog sniffs them, but everything looks clean. As they are walking away, they record this. It's a wail of agony coming from all directions at once. But that's not all. The most compelling evidence occurs in the very beginning, but I've saved it for last. Check out the top of the stairway on the left when they first enter. There is some movement that I find very strange. It could be a trick of the light playing across the rails, but I see a little girl rushing down the steps. A girl with a short haircut. She vanishes before she reaches the bottom. And this event also coincides with a shadow figure sighting recorded by police on a different night after the home security alarm mysteriously went off on its own. It's in the same area and roughly the same size as before. A poor girl lost looking down at the entrance and disappearing before she reaches the bottom of the stairs. When there's something angry in your home, it will make its presence known. Published to YouTube by Laney and Ben in June of 2021, this short scary clip shows their haunted house in action yet again. Laney is making breakfast and walks over to set the dishes on the table. But the moment she turns her back to the cupboard, it swings wide open and a bottle of ketchup is expelled from it. Laney catches a glimpse of the paranormal activity, and although she still appears a bit shocked, it's clear she's seen this sort of stuff before. She simply calls out for Ben and then calmly leaves the kitchen. <laughs> Is the spirit just reminding Laney not to forget the ketchup, or is this a forewarning? Because a red liquid condiment seems a bit too on the nose. Tell us your theory. What is this poltergeist after? A YouTuber named Tai Jiang Ko is sifting through a deep web box when she comes across what appears to be some sort of surgical instrument with strange markings, though I don't know what they could mean, if anything at all. Before something? Yeah, it says B4 on it. Then there's also marker right here. I also don't know what they were used for, only that they leave a greenish stain on Taijai's gloves, which I hope is nothing toxic. She changes gloves and moves on to the next object, an ice pick covered in red at the tip. I'm hoping that it's just rust and not what I think it is. Let me know what you think. My only question besides what this could be is who put it in the box and why. These witches either have supernatural powers or have been practicing their parkour. Watch this video from The Paranormal Collective. <laughs> After the first witch jumps, she's followed by at least one other who's waiting in the wings. Well, I'd love to imagine these witches parkouring around the city. I think this is just your run-of-the-mill dark magic. A YouTuber named Crossover likes to play basketball, but we all know that's not why he's on this list. He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted. At least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but you know, I kind of scrapped them. They were a little bit weird and I don't even know what was going on. And behind him, one of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. Get over here. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. 
He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. A Canadian YouTube channel called The Soul Catcher suspects that this clown doll from Ontario feeds off the energy of the living. So they perform this experiment to see what paranormal activity they can catch on camera. Watch this and tell me if you think it's real or fake. The clown's arm moves by itself as soon as the clock strikes 3 a.m. I suppose it wouldn't be too hard to set a clock to 2.59, wait a minute, and then move the clown's arm with some fishing wire. So while this doesn't completely prove the doll is possessed, it's definitely strange. In this second experiment, the YouTuber removes the haunted clown doll's hat and places it on his knee. After 20 minutes, this happens. It looks like the clown is reaching for his hat, however his arms sound heavy enough that it could have been positioned in such a way to fall over time. The YouTuber wants to know why the other arm didn't fall, and to answer his question, I think it's been positioned so that the hand is more in the middle. So while these two experiments are not conclusive, that he may have had a haunted doll on his hands, and I encourage you to check out the rest of his experiments on his channel. A YouTube channel called Mathan's Junction goes exploring at an abandoned house in Nepal, one with a twist. This is where his grandfather used to live until he succumbed to medical problems, at which point this place in the woods became haunted. It's a long and treacherous walk through the forest to get there. A fallen tree is the only way to cross the river, and he keeps thinking something is behind him multiple times. The house is old and sinking and taken over by bats long ago. He sets up a second camera to catch any activity outside of the house and then he steps inside. <laughs> At the exact moment Mathan thinks he hears something moving nearby, the outside camera detects the movement of a shadowy figure, a ghost in the window. Could this be his grandfather coming to say hello? <laughs> After that, Mathan begins hearing strange noises that you never want to hear coming from the woods. He knows he isn't alone at this point and goes outside to check the second camera for paranormal evidence. Some kind of object falls over by itself from deeper inside the house, almost like the ghost of his grandfather doesn't want him to leave just yet, or maybe the bats knock something over. Either way, the timing is creepy. Mathan senses something above and shines his flashlight at the roof. He doesn't see anything, and I'm sure you don't either, but keep watching this area because you will. He inverts the colors with a special filter, and within the negative image you'll see a head pop up at 25 minutes and 52 seconds, and then something runs across the roof. He is in some scary woods, so this could have just been a wild animal, but considering this is the final resting place of his grandfather, it could be his long lost relative watching him leave. Tell me what you think he caught on camera that night. UBA is a rapper from Mexico with a fairly popular YouTube channel. Recently, he admitted to the police that he has been working for the New Generation Cartel which is basically the Mexican Mafia. He has taken at least three people's lives and even dissolved them in vats of acid. Now police are working hard analyzing his music videos to determine if he has ever confessed to anything else in one of his songs. After all, anyone in the video could be an accomplice, and every lyric or camera shot could be another potential piece of evidence. I watched a lot of his videos for more clues, and the only thing I noticed was how one setting in particular would repeatedly come up. It's always this small wooded area that's by some train tracks. It could just be my imagination, 
but I can't help but wonder if maybe a fourth body would be found here if police were able to do some investigating in this area. A YouTube channel called Rick Now TV posted this while traveling across the European countryside. He is recording a dreary meadow from a train when he spots an oversized figure standing at a distance in the fog. The fog creature looks like a silhouette and is gone within the short time it takes him to zoom in and refocus, but in the instant it's there. You can see that it is about the same height as a nearby tree and large well. Rick Now TV suspects that this is a ghost, but perhaps it's further evidence of Slenderman. The elusive tall and dark creature, who is said to be able to change its shape, size and appearance at will. Behind this bed, there used to be a door. Look closely to the left of the lamp here and you'll see the outline where it was painted over. There's just one problem. Apparently something on the other side doesn't understand that this is no longer a passageway. The knocking sounds polite yet urgent, definitely human. It really does sound like someone who believes that they belong in this room and expects to be let in at any moment. It seems like her problem is not going to go away on its own anytime soon. I really wouldn't want to see what's inside of that wall, but it might be the only way to end the problem for good, or maybe make it way worse. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known as Explorer Abdullah Al Anzi goes investigating a haunted mansion that has been abandoned for a long time. Strange paranormal activity begins in the courtyard. Decades of decay have worn this place into little more than roomfuls of rubble that he is determined to explore. As he is wondering how many floors this building has, he realizes he is far from alone. He's exploring the basement when he hears something in a commanding voice. If you know what was said, then fill us in too. He isn't sure where it's coming from, so he looks all around. Right before Abdullah turns around, something strange is caught on camera looking at him at 16 minutes and 23 seconds. A spirit or a creature with a single glowing eye. The voice is never heard again, so he thinks it's a jinn. Based on the paranormal evidence he's caught on camera, I think he's probably correct. A TikToker account called the Rodriguez Twins is trying to convince his sister to drink a whole bottle of hot sauce when she shifts her weight a bit and makes the bear fall over. Um, oh, the bear just moved. At least that's what I thought happened. But apparently this stuffed animal can do a lot more than fall over. When the person recording first walks in, it looks like nobody else is in the room, but he and his sister. All right, Paula. Hot sauce or say something embarrassing. So if they pulled a string to make the bear move, then I don't know who could have been holding it. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.